into collision course with Rachel Elliott on Proternative FM. Hey, kids. Hey, Dad. What do you want to do today? I don't know. Do you want to go to the matinee? No. Do you want to go to the amusement park? No. Do you want to go to the punk rock show? Yeah, let's go to the punk rock show. <laughs> She's no good with words, but I'm worse. But they started out a joke of a romantic stuck to my tongue. On tonight's show, we have an interview and live track from new unsigned band Flood of Red, your most requested chart, and new tracks from your favorite bands. That was Fallout Boy, and next we have two new tracks from some of the best hardcore and punk around. Get ready, headbangers and hardcore kids, for the new sound of. That was Anti Flag with the Press Corps. Their new album is due for release on the 8th of April on AF Records. Before that was a tray with her portrait in black from the Underworld Evolution soundtrack. New album, A Death Grip on Yesterday, is released on the 28th of March on Victory Records. It's the one minute update on Alternative F. Remaining Alice in the Chains band members, guitarist Jerry Cantrell, bassist Mike Inez and drummer Sean Finney have reunited once again this time for Download Festival on June 9th to June 11th. Other bands also confirmed a funeral for a friend, Coheed in Cambria, Alexis on Fire, Avenged Sevenfold, Leaning Through and many more. Seattle Grunge's Pearl Jam have a new album due to be released the 2nd of May with their new single World Suicide which you should definitely check out. And apparently they're rumoured to be a headliner at this year's Leeds and Reading Festival. Southern California punk legends Bad Religion are releasing a DVD live at the Palladium on April 3rd. The DVD includes exclusive live footage, band interviews, photo gallery and selection of videos, which shows the career of one of the most respected and influential punk bands ever. Both legendary metal bands Anthrax and Slayer are returning to the metal scene after their remarkable performances at Download last year. Anthrax is set to tour the UK in April with the original lineup since their split in 1991, and Slayer are due to release their first studio album for five years, the follow-up to God Hates Us All on July 24th. That's this week's news. Here's an old track from one of my favourite bands off their second stage Turbine Blade album. I saw them at Birmingham in January. They were amazing and have just been confirmed for Download Festival this year. This is Coheed and Cambria with Here's Shot Kid Disaster. I'm thinking it was really good. The scene there is really welcoming to new experimental bands. Museum of Lies and Fire. It's a lot more progressive than our last EP. Our sound has definitely grown. We are signed 
Scientists, The Great Escape. Matchbook Romance Monsters. Avenge Sevenfold, The Beast and the Harlot. First to last, the levy. Number one, AFI with Rabbits Oroku on Route 37. Album coming out sometime in 2006. Not a new track, but the latest track we've had from them. That was tonight's show. I've been Rachel Elliott, and you've been listening to The Collision Course. Tune in next week for more of your favourite tracks and your favourite bands. To finish off tonight's show, we are going to play a request from the 1999 album Famous Monsters. It's the Mystics.